send things over to meteorologist Blake Hansen, who's outside on the weather deck. Blake, these are the types of conditions, though, or at least what you're experiencing right now underneath mainly clear skies and mild temperatures that we're hoping for for the Great American Eclipse. Yeah, that's what we're hoping for, at least the warmth and some sunshine on April 8th. And April 8th does uh, mark our total solar eclipse that will be working through much of the United States. But did you know that a total solar eclipse is just one of four possible eclipse one could see? Let's take a look. April solar eclipse is just one of four types of solar eclipses. Let's break it down. First up, we'll talk about April's eclipse called a total solar eclipse. It occurs when the moon completely blocks the face of the sun by passing between it and Earth. People in the middle of the moon's shadow will experience a total eclipse, meaning the sky will darken as if it were dusk or dawn. They'll see what's called the sun's corona or outer atmosphere, which is usually blocked by the sun's bright face. Next up is the annular solar eclipse. This was the type of eclipse across the western United States last October. The annular eclipse happens when the moon passes between the sun and earth, but this time it's at its furthest point from earth. That means it doesn't completely cover the sun, but creates a dark disk surrounded by what looks like a ring. You'll need to keep your solar eclipse glasses on to enjoy this type of eclipse. Now, depending on where you are, you may experience a partial solar eclipse. This happens during both a solar and annular eclipse. And when you're outside the area covered by the moon, you'll see part of the sun covered, giving it a crescent shape. West Michigan will experience a partial solar eclipse in April. And lastly, a hybrid solar eclipse because of the Earth's curvature. There are times an eclipse can switch between the annular and total solar eclipse as it moves across. Let's go back to this upcoming total solar eclipse. The April eclipse will be the last total solar eclipse visible from the United States until 2044. So the uh, eclipse that's happening in April here in West Michigan will be under a partial solar eclipse, but the sun will be blocked by the moon upwards of 90 to 95 percent. You only have to drive a few hours to our south to uh, be in that path of totality. Of course, as we approach the uh, April 8th eclipse, we'll have much more here. 13 on your side.